everywhere. This is a unity gathering here. This weekend, hundreds of people are converging on this small property near Dougald, Manitoba, and the event organizer says he's trying to bridge what he calls a divided nation. This is to unify the people across Canada and bring this uh, back together. This is Walter Hebert, who's playing host to people from across Canada associated with last year's so-called Freedom Convoy. Hebert owns Camp Hope, located roughly 10 minutes east of Winnipeg, where what's being called the World Unity Convoy is taking place. Hebert says he's on a divine mission. I followed what God put me to, and I have marked on this property where me and God were standing in a dream, and he showed me to build this here, bring people together in Canada. Hebert expects thousands of people to come to the property over the weekend. He feels what happened to the convoy in Ottawa divided people, and his event is one aimed at healing. He said many at the event were heartbroken when they heard the Public Order Emergency Commission ruled the Liberal government's use of the Emergencies Act was appropriate. He hopes to clear up what he says are misconceptions about the movement. And if we can help people to understand that God is in this movement, I think we're going to get to a better place. And I want to leave that up to God to deal with this Emergency Act. And I don't want to focus on that because when I focus on that Emergency Act, I will lose focus on Camp Hope and what is Camp Hope built on. And Camp Hope is built on peace, love and unity. A statement from the Manitoba RCMP said they're aware of the event and have been in regular contact with organizers to, quote, ensure a safe environment for the general public. All who may be traveling on high Highways or roadways in Manitoba during the event and those attending the event. Winnipeg police say they've been working with the RCMP and are ready to help if needed. We see a lot of fighting going on between our in our country, the left, the left wing, the right wing, you name it, even within our own groups. And we wanted to re-gather everybody and get everybody back centered, you know, so we're working together as one. Colin Big Bear Ross, who is one of the organizers of the event, says people have the wrong idea about the gathering, which was originally said to take place in Winnipeg. Everybody is welcome here. We have an open door policy. If you don't understand what we're doing here, come see us, come visit with us, come break bread. There's no racism going on here. There's no discrimination. I'm First Nations myself. None of that is happening here. This is all love and bringing people together. And when it comes to the host of the event in Hebert, he too feels there's misconceptions about the movement, stressing he believes it's rooted in something bigger. This is built by God's foundation. This is what God put on my heart, and I'm going to stand for it right to the end. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.